Hey guys, Melissa here. Um, I'm going to try something new. Uh, I'm going to do a little tutorial on um, a... This is a uh, suitcase box. And um, the original that I copied was from... I don't know how to say her name, so I'll spell it. X-A-N-N-E-R-O-1. And um, I actually changed the measurements to make it a uh, four by six, and um, and then I'm going to do a little accordion mini on the inside. So this is just kind of a prototype, and so um, to kind of show you guys what I'm going to be working on, this will probably be a couple different parts, but I'm going to do the uh, start to finish. Um, uh, project with you, um, including the measurements and um, how I decorate it. So, well, let's just get started. Okay, so for starters, what you're going to need is a um, piece of cardstock measuring 8 by 11, and you want it to be pretty thick. It's going to be the base for your uh, suitcase box. So, you also want it to kind of coordinate with the paper you're going to use to embellish the box with. So um, you're going to need that. You also need a 12 by 12 paper um, um, for your design. And then in the when we decorate the inside, you'll obviously need more papers. But to make the uh, just to make the box and to cover the outside of the box this is what we're going to need for for this video um, you'll also need a piece of this uh, same kind of cardstock this is like manila um, texture but it's paper so um, this uh, this sheet measures five by five and a half and this is going to be our binding and um, so let's just get started I'm going to put my scoreboard aside so I need this to measure, and I'm doing this upside down, so you're going to have to bear with me here on some of this. So um, let's measure eight. I believe the paper is already 11, so yeah. Okay, so eight by 11. And then we're going to score for our box. Try and work upside down here for you. Um, so we're going to take the paper the uh, long way, so it measures um, 11, and we're going to score at 1, 5, and 6, and... 10. Okay. So you want those to be pretty good. Then you're going to turn it and you're going to score at 1 and 7. Okay. So you can already see the um, the uh, box is starting to come together. You've got the inside is going to be four by six, so the actual pages will be like three and three fourths by five and three fourths. You know, so you have a little bit of room. So when you're going to cut, um, okay, you want to cut the line straight here. For the box but then the tab you're going to give a little angle so that it's a little easier to put together so all the little pieces that measure one by one are your tabs okay and then you want to just take in a little bit at an angle here okay I will try and um, fast forward through parts that are tedious, but 
I'm not very good at making videos um, edited at all, so <laughs> if I don't, that's because I didn't know how. I just really thought this um, suitcase box was super cute, and I actually did make a um, file or an album. It's kind of like an accordion album on the inside for my friend Nikki. But I already gave her the um, the um, box, so I couldn't really show that to you. And then I was starting another one, and I thought I'd do a tutorial because eh, I just wanted to. So go ahead and score on all your lines to get your scores, your lines nice and creased. Okay, so I like to put the paper on before I put the box together just because I can um, make sure I cover the, the sides and stuff really good. So let's go ahead and cut the paper. So you see the box is um, already starting to uh, come together. See? We're already getting there. So let's go ahead and get the scoreboard out of the way and grab our paper and our cutting board. So for our cover, the cover is, you know, the front is going to be 4 by 6 so you want to leave a little bit of a uh, you know edge around there so you're gonna me personally I like to leave 1 8 I like to make it 1 8 shy so I'm gonna cut 4 or 3 and 7 8 now remember if your suitcase is gonna go well it should go the, you know, the long ways, if your image has direction to it, you want to make sure that you cut your paper the right way when you're going to lay it down on the um, front of the suitcase. Okay? So, I'm going to cut it one eighth shy of six. And since I have two sides, I'm going to go ahead and cut two. Now, if you want to ink your edges and get that look, go ahead and do that now. Um, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to ink my edges off camera. So right now we're just cutting our papers. So we have two that measure four by six and they're just a bit shy. Some people like to cut, you know, a quarter of an inch um, short for the border. So we're going to need, we've got the two 4 by 6 now we're going to need three 6 by one and remember, for your border, so cut just shy of one inch in length. And then just shy of six inches so we still have that border that's gonna go around our box so we need three because we've got the two two ends in the center so I'm gonna cut another that's gonna be about an eighth of an inch shy of one inch Okay, and then I'm going to cut, cut it at just shy of six inches. Hope I'm on camera here. So now we've got our three. I can flip these over because it's double-sided paper, and I might do that. So now we've got these three pieces, or all these covered, and now we're going to need four, um, one inch by four inch. And now remember we're going to want 
well, I still have this strip left over, so I'm going to make it just shy of four inches. Okay, so now I need another strip that is just shy of one inch, and then this should be enough to finish the other three pieces because they're only going to be four inches long. So remember, about one eighth of an inch under four inches to keep that border if you want. You know, you might want your border bigger or not at all. It's up to you. So, now we have all the pieces cut for our suitcase. So, the next step would be to ink the edges and attach, um, and attach the paper. Um, so go ahead and do that. Um, also, you're going to need a piece of it, like I had said, that's five by five and a half, and you're going to want to score at every one quarter of an inch, okay? So this will be the first video. Um, when I come back, I'm going to have these um, attached to my um, box and inked, and this should be ready to go. And I'll be back with the next video for this. Bye.